and gentlemen, this is the fourth match of the night. Seeing Kaizen Traxxas versus Susumu Yoko Suka. And yet another one of the international matches we have lined up here today in the fatal showdown between SPW and Dragon Gate. Now Traxxas, the former champion who just recently lost his title to Ivan Markov, also known as Locomotive. Traxxas here tonight angry with something to prove to show that he still has what it takes to be a champion. Now let's look at statistics. Traxxas, he is 7 foot 1 inches. He is 227 pounds. Sasumu Yokosuka, he is 5 foot 8 inches and 170 pounds. So obviously, in terms of size, Traxxas is the bigger man here. Yeah, outweighing Susumu by a full 25 kilograms for all you people following the British metric system. Now, size can do a lot, but in terms of size versus experience, I think that goes to Yokosuma. Yokosuma has been a pro wrestler for 19 years. 19 years, 19 oh years of goodness, experience that's a lifetime. Wrestling. And he has the best of two different backgrounds in pro wrestling. He has that strong style from his home country of Japan. And he also has that Lucha Libre style from his time in Mexico. Well, you can see the experience in the eyes of Susumu. He was trained by an Ultimo Dragon himself and Don Carras, two of the most decorated wrestlers in the industry. Now, Kaiser, Kaiser Trex is in control. Big shoulder block there, off the ropes once again. But Susumu cuts him off with a drop kick, a low drop kick to the knee. And the ring smarts right there by Susumu. You don't see that move very often. Taking Trexus right out of the game, striking him straight in the knee, trying to affect his mobility. As you know, with size, there's usually a trade off with mobility and agility. And Susumu knows that. And that's why he's going for the knee, damaging the ligaments, trying to tear something, trying to end this match early doors. Certainly a very smart tactic to have, especially in a match like this, where so much is on the line. Literally the national the pride of Japan versus the pride of Singapore. Well, that's going to be a close call. Japan, as you know, a wonderful and extremely proud country. Singapore with a lot to shout about on its own. And Trex is here tonight with, as I said, a lot to prove. Tonight is the night he has to show that he can climb back up the ladder. And it is interesting, actually, to see the, uh, that the statement Andrew Tang actually came out at the end of the last match when he lost in support of Trexus. And the question then is raised, could that have been the beginnings of return to Onslaught? And are we going to see the statement Andrew Tang out ringside again tonight? Very, very good point you brought up there. As you see, Ben K earlier uh, was defeated by the statement. But he is out here seconding uh, Yokosuka. That is a, a tradition in Japan. A style that is so ingrained in, in, in strong uh, strikes, but also at the same time, respect. Respect and agility as well. And now, these days, Japanese wrestling gain more attraction around the world. As you can see, Susumu over here, a star attraction tonight, going up against a former reigning champion of SPW, holding his own. But there you have it, Trexus showing his chops as the former champion taking control of the match with a flying splash. And now we've seen this so many times. Trexus is now positioned, Yokosuka on the top rope. And the ultimate show of speed, power, agility and disrespect as Trexus stands atop the back. Pressure on the back of Yokosuka giving Trexus giving Yokosuka a happy ending there. A straight elbow directly to the spine, compacting it. And once again targeting the spine. Susumo counters a kick to the gut. What is he gonna follow up with? Yet a kick once again to the injured knee of Trexus. Turning his back on him. Do you want to do that, Susumu? He should not have done that. And a spinning backbreaker right there. Now, Trexus is just using the, the tactic that Yosoku, Yo, Yokosuka was using. My apologies, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just so excited for calling from that. Anyway, back to the action. Trexus was using the same tactic Yokosuka was using earlier. Now targeting one part of the body. He's going for the lower back right there. And as you know, that is the part of the body needed to bear loads on the shoulder. The question then is raised. Will Yokosuka be able to lift Trexus atop his back to perform some of his most amazing signature moves, including the Takai Takai, which is an elevated power bomb, and the Yokosuka driver. And there you have Trexus taking those moves right out of his playbook by going straight for the back of Yokosuka. Slap to the chest there for good measure, but Yokosuka 
back, returning the ball right away. Yokosuka, a chop hood all the way from here to Angmo Kyo. And that shot strikes us up right there, Yokosuka. And these two broad competitors exchanging blows. You can hear the, the chops just reverberating here in the arena. You can feel the chop so hard of those hits. Susumu calling for silence now. What's going to happen? Is he going to perform his famous... Is he calling for a brain buster? But no, Traxxas reverses out of it. He's just waiting to capitalize. And Yokosuka, the one calling for silence, but Traxxas, the one introducing him to darkness. No longer an old friend. Traxxas, you see he's putting the green tight, but on his arm, he's, he has a, a rap that says homeboy. I don't know if that says homeboy, actually. It looks like it says Wonder Boy. Wonder Boy, yes. And once hey man, again, I like I like hip hop, so you know. That well to each their own. I'm surprised you didn't enjoy the KNS performance earlier today. Yeah, hey man, let's not talk about that. I just want to forget about that. But let's call the action right now. Trex is in control. Whips Yokosuka into the corner. Trex has to be careful here. Yokosuka has about five or six different finishing moves. Exploder suplex into the corner. Trex is falling onto the back of his head. And Susumu calling for support right there. And this Singaporean crowd obviously impressed by what they're seeing. Cheering the foreigner on. Such a beautiful maneuver with, a, with an ugly landing there. You can see Trax as he's just out of it. His back is probably hurting from that maneuver, that ugly bump that he took into the corner. I believe that move earlier was called the Jumbo no Kachi. A lariat straight into the corner. But Trax is regaining control. A series of suplexes. He's holding on, going for the third. And transitions into some kind of slam and going straight for the pin. And Susumu right and at the last That was a very, moment. very good move there. Even though he almost, you saw he almost got the three count. That slam itself, he saw the impact from the tailbone out to the spine, up to the back of the head. Well, that was actually Susumu showing his ring smarts by getting as much rest as he could out of that pin. Just kicking out the last moment, conserving his energy. As Trexus goes for his trademark Trexus powerbomb. But Susumu calling for support in such a compromised position, needing the strength from the fans to power into this reversal. What a flip by Susumu. Trexus in a position he does not want to be in. He's very vulnerable. Once right again, now. a jumbo no Kachi. Transitioning. Transitioning into a into a repositioning of Trexus up the rope. And he's indicating that he's going for a press slam. And is this going to be the Exploder Suplex from the top rope? Trex is fighting out of it. It's a Sumu now. Lifeless but now back in control. Oh my, oh my goodness. goodness! A Lariah to the throat! To the throat of Trexus! The Exploder Suplex from the top rope! Oh my goodness! What feats of strength this man is pulling out! But Trexus once again showing the resilience expected of a former SPW Southeast Asian champion. And you can see there Ben K arguing with the referee that should have been a three count. Tsusumi now has his sights eyes set on Kaiser Trexus. And what is this? Is he going for a fisherman yes. suplex? Cradling the head of Traxxas, but Traxxas reverses out of it into the waistlock of the ropes. Big boost from Traxxas! Oh my that has goodness. to be it! But Susumu Yokosuka kicks out at two. Traxxas still on the attack. Oh, right Beautiful back to the bridging German suplex. But kicks out at two. And the impact from that boot right into the skull of Susumu, who is somehow still conscious. Traxxas going for the Traxxas bomb. And so, so, so manages to reverse, I can't believe it. What's going to happen? Trexus, a second attempt at the Trexus. Is Trexus's he going bomb. for the exclamation mark? Is he going for it? Can he? No! So, so kicks, fights out of it, reverses. Oh, oh my goodness! Oh. That lariat off the chest, into the throat. Trexus has to be out, he has lost his breath. Take
making another big lariat there from Susumu Yokosuka. And this is this the... has to be it. But Tractor's kicks out. And that was he our finisher. Out. A finisher right there that he kicked out of Bejumbo Nukachi Gatame, which is a riot transitioning into a pin right there from Susumu. And Trex has still managed to kick out. Now the crowd letting them know what they feel about the referee, the officiating um, personnel. Yokozuka gets the pin and this has, this is it ladies and gentlemen. This is now an even playing field. SPW has one victory, Dragon Gate has one victory. Well, Trex has fought bravely and valiantly there. A former SPW Southeast Asian champion. But at the end of the day, the experience, the agility, the speed and the power of this Japanese superstar, Tsusumu Yokosuka, prevailed and won the day. And the Singaporean crowd showing their admiration and respect for this international superstar.